welcome. Welcome back to the channel. This is part two of The Sims 2, The Gaunts Across Time. As you see, Cassandra's getting a choice on her job. I picked a choice, but I think I picked the wrong one. So as we left off last time, Cassandra's now married to Don Lothario. He's already cheating with Dina Caliente, who he already had a prior relationship with before the marriage. And he's living in the Gaunts mansion, as he previously had his own home in Pleasant View, but it didn't really give us an option to choose where he was going to live once he got married to brought him in. So, he's home. Um, like I said, during the day, it's usually just Mortimer. Don does have a job, but he doesn't work every day. So, as you see, Dina is now calling... I'm sorry, someone is now calling Mortimer, but he's like, nah, I'm not going to answer the phone. So, Dina is dropping off flowers. So, after an awesome date... I guess she feels like commemorating the time with some flowers. So we're actually going to have Don look at them. So it says, Dear Don, I never knew two Sims like us could share such happy hours. Every, each lovely second's memory smells sweeter than the flowers. And it's definitely from Dina. Um, unfortunately, those can't stay here. <laughs> um, someone else would also be able to read the card and the flowers if I left it there, so I had no choice. So Don had to take that away before everyone came back. So here's Alexander coming back from school. He is so excited. He just had a great day. Finished with an A, so he woke up poor Mortimer, who was taking a mid-afternoon nap to share the good news. So Alexander's putting his homework down. I don't know why he needs the desk. He is a star pupil. He is a straight A student in a private school setting. So he has a memory for that. I think the memories are really cute. I hope that system comes back in the future. Because it was nice for, for Sims to be able to kind of remember what they've done. Um, Cassandra's also home. She made herself a quick snack and then she started kind of playing around in the kitchen, killing some time. They don't have a television in their house. Um, and then she sees the phone ringing. And it's actually a phone call from Dina Caliente. Mm, she's definitely not going to let Dina speak to her husband. Everyone around town knows that the Caliente sisters are out for opportunities. And Cassandra has a little bit to be concerned about. She knew Don's reputation before they got started. So after that, she made a quick dinner of some mac and cheese and getting down into the evening. So there's not a lot of time between work and bed for her to do things, so she tries to make it a priority to be a family woman, like her mother was, and try to have a family dinner most nights. For some reason, Don did not want to come to the table to join them, but they got a rowdy conversation going about nature, which is something the three of them are interested in. Um, so it, what I did like about The Sims 2 is that they have interests that you can kind of influence. The more time you spend doing certain hobbies or activities, your sims will start to get an interest in that. So if they do a lot of gardening or outdoor activities, they'll show an interest in that. Or if they do a lot of chess and board games, will show an interest in that. So it's like, well, that's interesting. Don finally reappeared after dinner to help Cassandra with her logic skill. And as you see that plus above their head, now they're interested in music and games. And that's part of the, I want to say it's The Sims 2 free time? Expansion where now they have more hobbies and activities. So doing different tasks like feeding the fish gets you more into nature. I don't know why that surprised Cassandra to see him feed the fish. Don's active around the house when he wants to be. And then Cassandra's trying to build her skills because she is trying to go for a promotion. So she needs more cooking, more logic, and more cleaning skills to hit that level. So she gets to enjoy herself as she reads. Um, and then her dad... Decided he wanted to read the newspaper, which this is the last game where the newspaper comes daily. I believe it comes in The Sims 3, but you can stop requesting to have the newspaper stop coming. And in The Sims 4, there is no newspaper. Um, I guess you're supposed to get your news from the television or some other way. So I let her spend some time. They're actually getting a boost in their skill building because it's fall. So in the fall, Sims receive like a faster skill building boost. And because she was learning the cooking skills, she did get a boost in interest of cooking and cuisine as a whole. What I like about Cassandra is that she's very involved with, with her family. She's kind of the glue that holds everyone together. 
You know, she tries to keep the dinners going. She tries to spend time with her dad and her brother, of course, her husband. Even though they don't really seem to be a lot of time together. Don seems really concerned about time and how things are going. Maybe he's feeling anxious because, again, all his wants are woohoo related and none of them are really specific to her. Whereas her wants are about skills and buying things around the house. So Don's still in a very fever pitch to woohoo five different people and have five different lovers. And so he's not really interested in Cassandra at all. Mortimer is more skill based. He wants to think about, you know, swimming and building things. So Alexander, who was already pretty much halfway through the bar when I started the game, but now he's morphed, or morphed into a teenager. So now he is, he's had a good upbringing because his his aspirations in the green. So he has turn offs of uh, plus size people and creativity, and he has a turn off of charisma. I'm gonna change his turn on of plus size people to makeup because there aren't a lot of plus size Sims in the Sims 2. It also gives an option to age up any friends of his age, which I think is really awesome. I wish The Sims 4 would do that, because sometimes your Sims will make a ton of friends and then they don't really age up with you. So Don and Cassandra, in an attempt to build their relationship, decided to go on a little date. You know, they haven't really had a chance to spend a lot of time together. They don't have the same days off. And as you see, Cassandra's waddling there a bit. She is pregnant with her first child. Who dogs? Oh, but she is pregnant with her first child, um, and it kind of makes you wear maternity clothes in The Sims 2. You don't get to choose what the maternity clothes look like, and you can't wear your regular clothes. And doesn't let you go to work. So she was told she was going to have a few days off. So at this particular clothing store, they have that machine that I was talking about, so they can buy cell phones. So now Don, who of course I'm sure is so enthusiastic about cell phones, Sandra is like, get out of there. Uh, they're so enthusiastic about a cell phone, but they're expensive. And The Sims 3 and 4, I think cell phones come automatically. In The Sims 2, you have to pay 150 simoleons just to have, like, a flip phone, <laughs> it looks like. At Cassandra, as you see, her wants have changed. She really, really wants to go out to eat, and she really, really wants to have a baby, which makes sense. She's pregnant already. So she's going to take advantage of some shopping. Um, in The Sims 2... You don't automatically have a full option to go into cast like create a sim. If you want to change your clothing after you create the sim, you have to go into the store, into any store, there's several clothing stores in the downtown area, and pick the clothes, and you have to pick each individual outfit that you want, um, which can take some time, so not the fastest process. So I'm, I finished her shopping offline. So she wants to spend time with her with her husband. She has some wants to you know to flirt and to enjoy herself. Um, since again they haven't really got to spend a lot of time together. Um, I did play a little bit off screen, like I said, that's how she got pregnant. And she is in her first trimester, I believe. So they've only really had a couple of days together. That initial wedding day, they passed some time together, you know, in the house, but you know, they haven't really got to do much because of work and trying to keep up with everything. So after they enjoyed some shopping and some flirting, they come home to see Alexander cooking. Teens can cook now. Uh, the meals are a little bit repetitive since there's not a lot of options. No one in the house is a great cook. They have a lot of mac and cheese, toaster pastries, and spaghetti. Uh, but they make it work. So Alexander's building his cooking skill and cooking for the house because they didn't have any fresh dinner. Cassandra would normally be the one cooking, but she was gone to the... Um, clothing store and so they didn't really have time but thankfully he got started with the spaghetti i don't know why he just left it on the floor there but once again they're trying to enjoy a family dinner and that's really important to them so after dinner they went to bed next day cassandra trying to entertain herself being forced on maternity leave is not really what she had in mind for herself um she assumed that she'd be able to work i forget in the sims 2 they get ample ample time off um so she is enjoying the fish tank Don did purchase some fish and he can keep the tank clean and fed. So she's going to be working on skills and building the fish tank. So after dinner was finished, I put everyone to bed. Um, I didn't realize that Don was so well rested. Everyone, I sent them to bed, I guess, maybe too early because they're really in good shape here in terms of their sleep. Uh, so I'll let them rest. Oh, looks like Cassandra's having her baby. So exciting. 
as she just kind of woke up on her own because she was also in pretty good sleep and looks like she's just, you know, starting to go into labor. In The Sims 2, you can only have your baby at home. Um, they don't have the option to go to a hospital or do other things. So her baby is on the way. That does trigger a cutscene. And one of those other scenarios where this cutscene is triggered, they make birth look so relaxing. Just you look up and a little mini-me kind of spawns off of it. So there we go. Cassandra has had her first child. I decided to name her baby girl Katrina. So that's it for this part of the video. I'll wrap up here. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. I will do with part three, just kind of going through the rest of the story is how I think it would play out if, you know, the Lord continues as it seems like it was set. I'll catch you next time.